हमारा खेत था तो जाते थे दोस्तों के साथ खेलते थे और वहाँ पे सारा मजा आता था फिर नदी आ गई तो काट लिया घाघरा नदी सारे काट लिया गांव को कोई सूचना मिलती ही नहीं अगर कोई सूचना मिलती तो हम लोग को मदद मिलते कोई मदद नहीं है हमारे लोगों को Agencies are struggling to get help to millions of people affected by devastating floods across South Asia. It's thought to be the worst. Thousands of troops have already been pressed into action. It was um, extremely frightening um, because we had no warning. One of the most important variables during a crisis is reliable information. There's so much work that's already been done by governments, by the UN and NGOs, and we're trying to learn from that work, build on that and assist them with their goals. In India where we're running our first pilot program, the government has thousands of people who are measuring the water level in rivers across India. with what is effectively very long measuring sticks which are called stream gauges every hour which allows them to know whether the river will overflow and flood but it doesn't yet allow them to understand exactly what areas are going to be affected what neighborhoods or even what villages any station calling any station chitani mein mein tahsil se jaan milti hai sari jo hamare hote hain karmchari वो हमें सवेरे सतर्क कर देते हैं कि बाढ़ आने वाली आप लोग ऊंचे आ जाइए नहीं नुकसान सब उससे पहले पता चल जाएगा द रिस्पांस टाइम इज मोस्ट क्रूशियल थिंग रिड्यूसिंग द रिस्पांस टाइम ऑलवेज प्लेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वाइटल रोल इन द होल डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट फ्रेमवर्क एडवांसमेंट इन टेक्नोलॉजी वुड हेल्प अस बेटर इन स्प्रेडिंग दिस मैसेज फास्टर फ्लड फोरकास्टिंग वाज वेरी एक्सप्लोरेटरी प्रोजेक्ट The big technical question was can we have enough information to try to do forecasting that would be accurate enough to make a difference starting with the basic needs for getting information about what's going on where is it happening what should they be doing to be able to provide a forecast in real time we rely on the government we're working with we complement their effort by adding accurate modeling to that process We start by collecting thousands of satellite images to build a digital model of the terrain. Based on these maps, we generate hundreds of thousands of simulations of how the river could possibly behave. We receive the measurements from the government and cross those measurements with our simulations. We can then send those forecasts to individuals using search, maps and android notifications. This is an example of an alert that we can produce. This alert is for Patna. This alert is actually has over 90% accuracy. The lead time is incredibly important. Yeah. Even more than the specifics. Any of, information we can give, they will use. You want to show them the alert? Talking to people who directly experience severe floods and understanding what they really need is incredibly important for us to know how we can really help. <laughs> This is an opportunity to collaborate in a global scale. We are in very exciting time to use technology to try to make a difference. I can't imagine a greater privilege than to do what we love and do it in a way that could actually help people directly in a very profound way. <laughs> Our hope for the future is to give people a few more days of warning before a flood occurs and to use AI to scale this and provide these forecasts anywhere in the world. wherever people need them.